addition using complementary numbers. Now this is this is the first lesson in the abacus where we're really getting into the good stuff on the abacus. This is the fun part. This is where you really start to get some power in the abacus because we're going to start using complementary numbers. Now think about what the word complementary means. Complement means like it completes something. Uh, if you give a compliment to something, you're saying something positive about them and adding to them. Uh, in essence, you're saying that you're making them complete when you give them a compliment. When we use complementary numbers, you're saying that there are two pairs of numbers that when they're added together, they add up to one whole number, or num the number that you want. Let me give you an example to explain what I, what I mean by using comp complementary numbers. The time when you use them is when you're running out of, when you run out of beads. A, you know, I gave you problems up to this point that you don't run into that situation. So let's, let's use it for example. So let's say I'm going to do 1 plus 4. Well, how do I do that on the abacus? I, I don't have 4 beads down here to slide up. So how do, how do I do 1 plus 4? I can't, you know, that's where it gets a little bit confusing. And you think, well, 1 plus 4. How, I, know what one, I know 1 plus 4 is 5, and I can just do that. But there's a method. There's a method in the abacus that if you do it this way, it becomes mechanical, and you can do it without even thinking, and you can do it faster than a brain can do it with a, with a calculator. Love complementary numbers. So here's, here's what it is. So when you run out of earth beads to use to, to, and you need to move to the number five, you're going to look for the pairs. You're going to, going to look for these sequences of numbers, a one and a four or a three and a two. Whenever you see those numbers together, it's going to trigger the use of complementary numbers. Okay, so let's say we have 1 plus 4. Let's go back to that. So 1 and 4 are a pair, a complementary pair. And when using complementary numbers in addition, you subtract the complementary number. Now I know that's confusing, but let's let's see let's see what that means in action. So I, I'm I have the number one and I'm adding to it the number four. So the number I'm adding to it is what I'm going to be focusing on. Now the complement to the number four is the number one. And the way what I do at that point is I take away this one and slide down the five. So I know that's really easy and really basic, and you probably would have done that anyways, but I, I want you to think through the method that we're doing because because in here in this lies the power of the abacus. I have the number one, and I'm adding to it the number four. The complement to number four is one, so that means I take it away and then slide the five down. Okay? So when using complementary numbers in reference to 5 in pairs of 1 and 4 or 3 and 2, I subtract the complement. Now, I know that's confusing, and I know it doesn't make a bit of sense at this point. You're rolling your eyes at me and say, saying, this is dumb. Why do I want to use the abacus if it's making me do this backwards? Well, this backwards way of thinking is what, if you can grasp this, will really make you it's going to rewire your brain to think differently when it comes to math. And you'll love it eventually. You'll be, you'll, it'll become, it'll make it so you can just add faster in your head, even without using the abacus, okay? So let, let's do another problem, okay? Uh, three plus two. Well, we know our pairs are one and four and three and two, so those are complementary numbers. So, okay, well, three. And I'm going to add to that, 2. Well, the complement to the number 2 is the number 3, so I take it away and then slide the 5 down. Let's do just the opposite of that one, okay? 
let's say I have the number two and I want to add to that the number three. The complement to the number three is two. And so I take away two and slide down the five. You're going to start to get it in a little bit. I know it's kind of crazy, but I'm starting with the most basic ones. Okay, so one more, four plus one. So I have the number four, and I want to add one to it. Well, there's not another place to add a one down here. And in your head, you know that the number is five, but the, but the process that we're, the, the thought process we're going through is, well, the complement to the number one is four. And so I'm taking away four and sliding down the number five. All right, let's try some more numbers in the ones column, but are slightly different, okay? Let's do four plus two, okay? Here's the number four, and I'm going to add to that the number two. All right, I know the number two is one of the complementary pairs. So the complement to the number two is three. So I'm going to take away three and slide down the number five. Four plus two is six. All right. And the only way we're going to start getting our brain to work this way is by working through the problems. I know it's funny. I know it kind of doesn't make sense. And you're probably still wanting to break your abacus over your knee and saying this is dumb. I don't know what those Romans were even thinking when they invented the abacus. It doesn't make a bit of sense. But trust me, you're going to, once you get this, you'll love it. All right, four plus three. Okay, four, I you know, there's, how do you add three into this? Well, oh, three is a complementary number. So the complement of three is two. So I'm going to take away two, slide down the five. Four plus three is seven. And I know you know four plus three is seven, but the thought process we're getting used to is four plus four plus three means you add or you subtract the complement and slide down the number five. So in essence, this is totally going to confuse you, I know, but the thought process you're going through is four plus three minus two plus five is the number that you're going through. Okay, let's do one more. And then I think I'll turn you loose on some problems. Okay, uh, four plus four. Okay, here's the number four. How do I add four to this? Oh, yeah. The comp we have to use complementary numbers. Four. We're adding four to the four plus four. Well, the complement to four is one. That means I take one away from that and slide down the number five. And there it is. Four plus four is an eight. I know I said we'd only do one more, but I feel like. We need to do just one more. So here we go. Two plus four. Two. And we're adding to it the number four. What's the complement to number, f to what's co the complement to four? Oh, it's one. I take away one and slide down the five. Well, four plus, or er, two plus four is six. And that's the number six. And one more, just for good measure. Uh, three plus four. Three plus four. The complement of four is one. means I take one away, slide down the five, and it's seven. Four plus three is, or three plus four is seven. There, that is your introduction to complementary numbers with respect to the number five, in simple addition. Okay, so go print off your worksheet and work through this. And I know it's going to be frustrating to pull out your hair, but but don't break your abacus yet. You know, or don't don't use it for firewood, because you'll get it. You'll get it. You'll and if even if you have to, I'm sure you'll go and start working through the problem and say, "What was that? I don't get it." It takes a while to wrap your brain around it. I, I promise you, I had a hard time with this. I had to sit there and think about it and ponder about it and say. I don't really get this. These, these 
Romans that are just Chinese. That they're all wacko. But just work through the problem. And if you have to go through and watch this video again, try it. And you'll, you'll start to get these complementary numbers. We're going to be doing the complementary numbers with respect to five for a little while. And next we get into the real fun stuff. Complementary numbers with respect to the 10. All right, but now this, this is, yeah, it only gets funner from here on out. I promise you're going to start loving this. Okay, print off your worksheet and go work through these problems.